Now let me introduce you to another rule in differentiation, namely the product rule. But I am sure many of you is already very familiar with this rule because it, because it is taught during your secondary school level. So the product rule states that if we have function y is equals to u multiplied by v like this. So to find the dy dx, it is equal to this formula u dv dx plus with v du dx. That means we have to copy back the first function and then differentiate the other. And then we have to copy another function and differentiate the other one. So similarly, if we have fx is equals to, it is not f here. If it is equal to, let's change this to h, hx multiplied by gx. So our f prime x is, we copy hx, and then we have to differentiate our gx. Okay, we find g prime x. And then plus with, we copy gx, and we differentiate hx. So that is the formula that we must follow for product rule. So to better understand this, let's try two questions, question A and question B. So we start with question A, y equals to x squared, multiply with 3x minus 1 over x to the power of 4. Okay, so I'm going to choose uh, my u is x squared, and then we have to find uh, u prime. So u prime is equals to 2x. And v is 3x minus 1 over x to the power of 4. So this is equals to 3x minus x to the power of negative 4. Okay, so when we differentiate v, so we find v prime. It is equals to 3. Okay, differentiate 3x, we get 3. Then differentiate negative x to the power of negative 4, we get positive 4x to the power of negative 5. Okay, so we obtain negative 5 when we subtract negative 4 with 1. Or this is equals to 3 plus 4 over x to the power of 5. And then let's substitute this in a product rule formula. So the product rule formula is u. Okay, this is our u and this is our v prime plus with v and u prime. So we can refer to our u and v and u prime and v prime that we already found earlier here. And then we substitute into the formula for product rule. And now I am going to simplify by expanding the equation. So we have x squared times 3, so the answer is 3x squared. And then x squared times 4x to the power of negative 5. x to the power of negative 5, we put at the denominator. And then 4 times x squared, we get 4x squared. And then 3x times 2x, the answer will be 6x squared. And then negative x to the power of negative 4 times 2x. x to the power of negative 4, I'm going to put at the denominator here. And then negative 1 times 2x, so we have 2x here. And then we can simplify this, okay, becoming 3x squared. And then 4x squared over x to the power of 5. The answer is 4 over x cubed plus with 6x squared, and then minus with 2 over x cubed. Okay, and then we are going to plus 3x squared with 6x squared, so we have 9x squared, and then 4 over x cubed minus 2 over x cubed, the answer is positive 2 over x cubed. So that is the answer for question A. So now let's move on to question B.
inside the bracket here to differentiate x plus 2 we get 1 okay so the answer for u prime is 4 times x plus 2 to the power of 3 and now let's find our v prime so our v prime is 3 times 2x plus 3 to the power of 2 and then forget to differentiate inside the bracket here so we have 2 here when we differentiate 2x plus 3 so the answer for v prime is 6 times 2x plus 3 square now let's substitute this into the power rule formula So we substitute into the product rule formula which is u v prime plus with v u prime and now it is time to simplify the function so we can factorize x plus 2 and 2x plus 3 And then we have to decide x plus 2 to the power of what to x plus 3 to the power of what. So we have two choice for x plus 2. Uh, we have x plus 2 to the power of 4 and x plus 2 to the power of 3. So which is the lower power between the two. So we are going to put x plus 2 to the power of 3. And for 2x plus 3, we have either 2x plus 3 to the power of 2 or 2x plus 3 to the power of 3 so we choose the lower one so we have to put 2 as the power for 2x plus 3 and then what's left after we factorize those two so for the first term here after we factorize x plus 2 to the power of 3 and 2x plus 3 to the power of 2 so we still have 6 of course and then we have x plus 2 to the power of 1 because we factorize x plus 2 to the power of 3 and then for 2x plus 3 to the power of 2 we already factorize all of it so we have here only 1 and then here we have 4 and for 2x plus 3 we still have 2x plus 3 to the power of 1 and we already factorized x plus 2 to the power of 3. So we have 1 here. Okay, and then we can uh, further simplify this. So it becomes x plus 2 to the power of 3 times 2x plus 3 to the power of 2. And then simplify it inside the bracket. We have 12x Sorry, we have 6x actually. We have 6x plus with 12. And then plus with 8x plus with 12. Okay, and then we can further simplify. So we have x plus 2 to the power of 3. And then we have 2x plus 3 to the power of 2 and then we have 6x plus with 8x so the answer will be 14x plus with 24 so that is the answer for our differentiation